event-driven architectures and microservices architectures, they require a way to trigger a downstream event based on an upstream action. Businesses, when they start adopting these decoupled environments, really struggle with this idea. If it is decoupled, how do we keep it all moving when it's supposed to move on queue? I'm Jeff Carson. I'm Senior Director of Pre-Sales and Solution Architecture at ClearScale. Organizations can at times find it difficult to figure out how do we translate our current business process into actual step functions that need to be triggered at which interval and with which condition. So AWS step functions, it makes it easy to coordinate the components of serverless uh, applications and microservices visually because of the way that it's presented to you in the console. It offers a way for declarative workflows to be visualized. So you script out what it is and then you see the visualization of what you scripted out so that you can really see what the steps in that orchestration or that choreography are and understand it very quickly. Think of it like a Swiss army knife. If the all the individual functions of the Swiss army knife could be choreographed to happen based on the conditions you need to be true when they happen. We can help make sense of all of that and employ step functions in such a way that is not only best practice and secure on AWS, but also completely tailored to your custom business practice internally, however that's being executed today.